In this video, I'll help you move a WordPress and WooCommerce site from your local server or computer to a live server or web host. We'll be using a free plugin called Duplicator for this. I'll also show you the three important steps that you must do after your site is live and the two common errors that often pop up during such a migration. Hello, my name is Julian and I share weekly videos to help unlock your website mojo. So smash that subscribe button and let's begin. I'll be using Bluehost for this tutorial, but the steps are mostly the same for any web host that you might have. These steps are also the same for both WordPress and WooCommerce sites. After you've connected your purchased domain name to your hosting, you need to go to the control center of your web host and find your FTP details. Then we need to create a new blank database so that you can import your local sites database here. So in the left hand navigation menu, go to advanced and then databases. Under the section, create new database, provide a name for your new database. Then click on create database. Now we're going to add a new database user for our account. Scroll down to add new user under MySQL users. Choose a username and a strong password for this user. Then click on create user to finish creating. Then add this user to the new database we have created. Next, assign all privileges to this new user and then click on make changes. That's it. Now I'll show you how to use the free plugin duplicator to move your site to this new web host. Step one is to build a package of your local site, which you'll upload to your live site. First, put your live site in maintenance mode using this plugin so website users can't initiate transactions or make changes on your site. This will keep your site safe from triggering error during this process. Then install and activate Duplicator on your local WordPress site. Next, go to Duplicator and then from the admin menu, select Packages. Click on Create New on the top right corner of the screen and then click Next. Duplicator will now scan your site to make sure everything is okay before it can proceed to create a backup of your site. You need to get a good result here to proceed. After the build completes, you'll get a confirmation. Download both the installer and the archive. This archive is essentially a backup of your local site. Step two is to upload this package to your live server. So connect to your FTP client by entering your FTP credentials. On the left side, you see your computer files. Find the folder where you downloaded the package and the installer file. Then we need to go to the right side, which displays your web host files and find the root directory, which is often called the public folder. Next, right click and upload the duplicator package and the installer.php files to the public folder. Step three is to install and deploy the package. Type the domain name of your website and add slash install.php like I've shown here. Duplicator will then check if your live site is suitable for deploying the package. And if everything is fine, click next at the bottom and Duplicator will then start extracting the contents of the package so that they can be installed on the live site. Click on test database to check if Duplicator can connect your database successfully. Once you pass the tests, click next to install the database. Duplicator will then start installing your local site's database to the live site. If you didn't pass the tests earlier, then check if all the feed values are correct and retry. But if you still can't connect, then contact your hosting provider. Then Duplicator will automatically populate the title, URL and path fields. Make sure the values are correct, then click next to continue. Your local site should now be live. To finalize the installation, click on admin login. Make sure the checkbox named auto delete installer files after login is checked. Now your site is live, but the job is not finished yet. To have a properly functioning site, we need to do three more things that are really important. I'll show you how to do them quickly. Firstly, change your site's URLs by opening the PHP My Admin or whatever database management software your web host uses and select your database. From the list of tables shown, click on the WP options table. You should see a list of option names and their values. Change the values of the site URL and home options to whatever the URL of your live site is. Secondly, flush your permalinks because when you move your local site to a live server, the permalinks to your posts and pages might not work. So in your WordPress dashboard, go to settings, then permalinks, click on save changes. Lastly, we'll fix any broken links using the better search replace plugin. First install and activate it on your live site, then go to tools and better search replace. In the search for field, put your localhost URL. In the replace with field, put the URL of your active site. From the select tables list, select WP posts. Next, click on run search replace at the bottom and make the changes final. Now, besides the three critical things, I would recommend that you also activate your SSL using a plugin like Really Simple SSL and test the main components of your website once, like the pages, posts, hyperlinks, images, analytics, etc. Bonus tip, 
If you made a local site as a staging environment to test out certain changes before you made them live, check out our plugin Blog World because you can create unlimited staging sites with just a click and it also has automatic backups to give you peace of mind. I'll leave a link in the description for you. Lastly, the two most common errors that you may face are error 500 and 404 errors. I'll link the video above for 404 errors and here for 500 error. And here's a video to help you restore a live site without a backup because that's a really helpful tip to have. This is Julian, your friendly neighborhood geek, and I'll see you again next week.